Roger, Mark. Roger. Okay, uh, you're Eight, coming through on our black, black and white monitor yep. now. Uh, very well. We'll see the color in a minute. Okay, John's just sitting upside down here in the LEV. Yeah, we see smiling John down there. Yeah, he's just turning around down here. In living color. Tom, you can't believe it. It's really great. Uh, the colors are fantastic. Okay, I guess we're... Zoom in on John. All right, we're looking into the LEB now and looking at John Young on the right. Uh, you need to focus a little when you get in closer. Are you in the interior position on the camera? Okay, uh, we see your patch in the screen right now. Can you zoom in on that a little? Uh, it's coming through loud and clear now. That's the best I can do. I'm going to try to focus it closer. Roger. Uh, that's the one on the uh, front cover of your flight plan, I believe. We can read the writing on that's the flight firm. plan. That's firm. Okay, it's really coming through, be coming through beautifully down here. Okay, Tom, we see your name plate there, Stafford. That's how I can tell who it is, huh? That's how we can tell who it is. All right. You can see the sun coming in over my shoulder and then on Tom. Uh, it's really tremendous. 
Yes, indeed. It certainly is bright there. Reformation, all these are at F-22. Roger. In fact, that's what we shot the Earth at was F-22. Roger. Looks like you got some suntan yesterday, Tom. Right, have to stay healthy there, Charlie. I'll take it back over here at my left window and show the earth again. Roger, Tim. Looks like you got some suntan yesterday, Tom. Right, have to stay healthy there, Charlie. I'll take it back over here at my left window and show the earth again. Roger, Tim. Any interior shots this fast? We can turn on the floodlights for just a minute here. Okay. Okay. We're going to go around and shoot an interior now. Roger. As we get all arranged around here, we'll show you a quick inside shot. Houston, Roger out. Follow Dan Houston. Uh, we've completed the uplink. You can go back to block. Well, we're looking at a, a black background now. There you've got the holder. Roger, we, uh, it's really uh, beautiful, uh, Tom. We got, uh, we can even pick up a little tip of uh, part of the northern part of South America uh, down below Baja. Yeah, it's coming in now. Roger, Tom. Roger, Tom. It's really blue, you guys. We're, we're looking, uh, we're looking right at you. It looks like you may have a few clouds there right now in Houston. Uh, it's sort of uh, all of constant overcast here in the Moker, but uh, uh, we've never been at. You're right on the edge of what might be some clouds. Uh, certainly to the northeast of that area is clobbered. Right. Okay, John's going ahead through a B-52 here. Roger. I think I can see all the way up into the uh, Newfoundland area now, up in uh, up along the eastern coast that's not uh, covered. 
Right, uh, you know, it looks like to us that it's uh, just completely uh, clouded up over that way. Uh. You might say we've moved out in the last couple of hours. Well, I'll say. We got you at about uh, 26,000 miles here, a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to put the zoom on 55, which will give you the exact resolution we have. Roger. And just for the record, it looks to me like a pretty nice place to live. Right. And we see the P-52. Okay, 55 on the zoom, and that's about exactly what the same thing we're seeing. Well, it's really fantastic. Uh, Ken, can you uh, see uh, the uh, Hawaiian Islands? Negative. Uh, too much cloud cover. Okay.
Roger, that's correct. Looks like a beautiful sight. And either you have uh, clouds over the Sierra Nevadas or they're snow capped at this time. I can't tell which from here, and you can still see the San Joaquin Valley. Roger. Houston, we're Houston, we're going to zoom in on a little bit, and also we're deactivating the uh, VHF at this time. Roger, copy, deactivating the VHF and zooming in. Okay, hold it about there. You can uh, see the subsolar board very well in this uh, picture. Yes, indeed, we can see the uh, very bright spot on the surface of the water that is the subsolar point. Does it look gold? Uh, negative. It looks uh, silvery, about the, the same color as the clouds there, only obviously brighter. nighttime coming over on the eastern part of the United States too. Roger, and uh, while you're doing this, uh, we'd like to uplink you to PTC reps, Matt. You go to Pooh and accept. Can you describe uh, for us the area that the northern clouds seem to be obscuring? Yeah. They start up in the northwest territories of Canada and actually ring out to Alaska. And from there they go down just about to the Canadian-United States border and go on east. But the whole northwest Pacific uh, across northern Canada and over to Greenland is all obscured with just a solid white mass of clouds there, as you can see it here up near the North Pole. Uh, Roger, we can see uh, the California coastline in Baja, California, down in the lower right-hand corner of our screen. I zoomed out a little bit. Now you can really notice those clouds that cover about the northern, looks like about the northern third to quarter of the Earth there. Uh, Roger, Dan, up in the vicinity of Alaska, we see a, a swirl. Does that look like a storm system, a low-pressure area to you? Yeah, you've got a swirl out there um, right on the, off the coast of Alaska. Right red to brown. 
right, we can see the Terminator quite clearly moving up from the lower right-hand corner of our screens. All right, Roger. This is Houston. Uh, we had a computer problem here. It delayed our rest mat uplink. We're ready to go now, though. Okay, we are in blue. We're in accept. Apollo 10, this is Houston. Uh, you all plan? Right there, you should be able to see the United States, Mexico, Boston. Uh, hey, it's really beautiful, Tom. It's coming in great. You ought to see it up here, Charlie. We got the whole globe there. Hey, Tom, that, 
Boy, it is really fantastic. Uh, could you get by in a little bit? Uh, we're showing us the Ulta Pacific now. Okay, uh, we've got uh, we've got the Baja now in the uh, on the right hand side of our screen, and uh, it's right in the center now. We can see uh, Mexico and uh, the clouds up over the Rockies. It's really a fantastic sight. Almost see the the freeways in LA. All right. Okay, I'm going to move down. You can take a look down by the Gulf of Mexico now. Roger. Charlie, this is, it, 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 it's so hard to describe. You can go right up past Alaska and you can see the polar caps. Uh, it, it's incredible. Well, we see it all here, Gene. Its uh, colors are really beautiful. That's great. Oh. And, and the black is black that you ever could conceive is the setting for all this. Right. Looks like all the around the people in New York have a little bit of cloud cover today. It goes all the way down, uh, back down back by the Cape. Right. You guys are really giving us a great show. This is fantastic. Yeah, we just want to thank all the people who helped get us up here, Charlie. I don't know. That includes the taxpayers, too. <laughs> Charlie, I hope, you know, you blink your eyes and you look out there and that ball is, you know, it's three-dimensional, but it's just sitting out there in the middle of, of, of nowhere, and it, it's unbelievable. We copy, Gene. Uh, it, we get a real uh, idea now for the first time on what you're really seeing up there. The colors uh, uh, on the uh, oceans are just as blue as they can be, and uh, real white uh, clouds all over. And uh, the uh, the land is a is a real deep brown. To, uh, it's almost a reddish brown. Yeah, and the, the North Pole, the Arctic area, is just solidly whitely snow covered. Right. Yeah, it's a, it's a brown and around the Rocky Mountains and orange down into Mexico. It becomes a little more of a purplish orange. Right, we see all... Yeah. I cut you off there, Tom. Uh, we see all that. It's looking good. You can actually uh, pick out what I think is the San Joaquin Valley down there, just on the uh, west side of the, uh, the hill. Right. Okay, I'm going to open the zoom and bring it back in the other way. Roger, 10. Uh, would you check your TV servo power? We show it on. Okay, Tim, uh, we're getting the Earth now. Uh, we've got uh, the Terminator uh, to our left, and it looks like the, the South Pole on the top of the screen. Paul, Tim, this is Houston. Uh, we're going to have a communications handover uh, at about uh, 7 hours 30 minutes GET or about 4 hours from now. And uh, the black and white uh, is really looking good. 
the color is showing a little bit of saturation on the white. Uh, could you tell us the position of your ALC switch, over? Ten outside. Roger. Ten outside. Uh, Ten, this is uh, Houston. Uh, we're showing uh, the orientation reversed from what you had it a few minutes ago. Uh, is it convenient for you to turn the world upside down or right side up here? Yeah. You're filling up about 80% uh, of the screen vertically. degrees and then zoom a little more we could fill up nearly the whole screen. 